Hello everyone, welcome to a new Let's Play. Today we're going to be starting Cyber Shadow. This is the new game from Yacht Club. It seems pretty cool, seems very Ninja Gaiden inspired, gives me big messenger vibes. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop in. That, that name in the top left is my old Xbox gamer tag because I'm playing this on Game Pass. So basically just types gibberish in. Uh, okay, I can't control anything here, if I was wondering. My cats are acting a damn fool. I'm trying to stay quiet for this cutscene, but it's, uh, it's taking its damn time, isn't it? Okay, a robot looked like it was like freeing us from a tank. I don't know a lot about this game. Okay, so we were once a actual ninja, I'm guessing, and uh, it looks like we died in an explosion. And now we're a cyborg ninja? Cool. I'm down. Okay, do we have... Can I just attack? There's no... Okay, there's no roll or anything, so yeah, very classic. Those cutscenes are very Ninja Gaiden as well. Shadow. It's great to see you with an operation. Speci with an operational specification. That text goes way slower than I thought. Sorry to cut your recovery short, but our mission got a lot more urgent. Our master is in desperate need of your help. A lot has happened since the explosion. I'll fill you in on the details as we go. My name's Legion, by the way. Aid to our master. Alright, Legion. I'm glad you're finally out of that incubation chamber. You're all we've got. Alright, our destination is set. Hurry, let's get moving. Alright. My cats are acting a damn fool in the background here. There we go. Restored some HP. Alright, so we got SP... I'm not sure what that thing is under my SP. I'm guessing that's like my currency or my score. Then we got HP. Can't hit the lanterns to get stuff. No bloodstain slash Castlevania. Oh, cool. HP. Thank you. You're a weekend by essence deprivation. Your vital systems can't hold out for long shadow. Your own borrowed time. And to make matters worse, I'm pretty sure you're awakening alerted Dr. Progen. We should keep moving. All right, is that a save point? Yeah, that's a save point. Okay. Read. Stasis chamber offline. Stasis chamber security status compromised. Ooh, there's one of the currency things. All right, I'm trying to make sure nothing in, nothing in the walls here. These walls look very Shovel Knight. It's funny, I'm getting Shovel Knight. Like, I, I don't know, I'm getting Shovel Knight, like, flashbacks slash nostalgia from these walls. Something as simple as walls makes me think of Shovel Knight. I should really play Shovel of Hope on the channel at some point, probably. Since I played the DLC, the latest one at least. Stasis Chamber log file, subject beta released, last recorded status, health, critical, essence level 37%. Alright, so we're, we're dying, basically. We are on borrowed time, as that character said. What was that? Just... Oh, okay, it opened the gate. Alright. Yeah, come on. Upsy daisy. Uh, okay, I thought I'd, I'd... I don't know why I thought I could land on that. It wasn't a platform. <laughs> this... this thing right here. To the right. Chapter 1, Geothermal Towers. All right, and we do actually have a cool world map. Hi. Slash, slash, slash. No elevator fight. Ooh. I'm gonna let this play for a few seconds because this sounds very good. Okay, yeah, this... 
Yacht Club's back with their amazing music again. Is that gonna hurt me? Yeah, okay. I just wanted to confirm. Uh, ah! Okay, okay. Careful. I played the Messenger, and that's probably the closest type of game to this, because it is also Ninja Gaiden inspired. So that's really the only reference I've got. I really, really enjoyed the Messenger, and I like to think I was pretty good at it. Um, so here's hoping I'm not too horrible at this game. But it's a very classic inspired game, so it's probably going to be quite difficult. Uh, gotcha. Okay, those guys are basically Koopas. They're not going to fall off the platform that they're chilling on. Red Koopas, I mean, not green Koopas. Okay, die. Thank you. What was that? Just a bunch of health. HP full. Ah. Okay, well, not anymore. Thank you for that. <laughs> Bang. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay, I thought those were something I could kill in the air, but no. They look like Metroids. Bang. There we go. Uh, oh, hey, it's you. Okay, I thought you were an evil robot. Dr. Progen is holding our clan captive. He's siphoning their power. We barely reached you in time. Good thing they didn't get to you, too. One of our four companions is nearby, but fading quickly. Please go to meet him. Hmm. I wonder if we're gonna get, like, different abilities from each of the companions. Okay, I was wondering if you were, like, a turret. And you definitely are. When I saw, um, like, this game in action, I saw the character, like, dashing across the screen and stuff. What is... What is that? That must be something I can use... No, I don't think it's something I can use my SP on. I clearly got something, though. I'm pressing all the buttons and nothing's happening, however. Maybe it's like... I mean, I imagine it's an upgrade of some sort that I've gotten. I don't suppose it's... Is it extra range for my weapon? Because it has like a little, uh... Like... I don't know, it looks like a... I, I don't I don't know how to describe it. That little lunar, like, moon on the left. In my little, uh, slot there. Does it just give me extra range on my weapon? Is that all it's doing? I might be missing something obvious, but... This is very good so far. Oh yeah, I guess the other thing I've played that's kind of similar to this is, uh... Panzer Paladin. I've been trying to keep an eye out for secret walls, too, but I haven't seen any yet. This game doesn't seem like it has, uh, as much of that going on as Shovel Knight did, but maybe I'm wrong. I suppose all we would really find is, like, health and whatever this currency is. Yeah, there's nothing there. Just trying to keep an eye out. Ah. And ass. Oh, jeez. I'm actually getting low health. Gotta be careful here. Asshole. Uh, ah! Please. No. I refuse to die here. Except I probably still am gonna die. No. No. Haha! -ha. HP! Yes! That's what I needed. No. I refuse to go down here. My friends need me. Oh god. This isn't a good setup at all. I don't like this setup. Okay, let's get you to turn around, and then let's drop down here and kill you in here. What is that? Are those collectibles? Like, in each level? Hmm. Okay, never mind. Maybe there are walls that have shit hidden. Also, what healed me to full health? Uh. Uh. Okay, just keep dodging like this. There we go, we're good. Yeah, boy. Yeah, this feels pretty good so far. I like this. I mean, I expected nothing less from Yacht Club. They're kind of the king... the kings of making a... a like, a classic platformer that's basically in new age. In the new age. In the modern era. So... Yeah. Because Shovel Knight is just... Shovel Knight's like... Honestly, I, I really like Shovel Knight, but King of Cards is was like absolutely fantastic to me because it combined 
um, some of my favorite things, being both card games and classic platformers together. And, uh, yeah, that was just absolutely fantastic. It was such a good DLC. I haven't played Spectre of Torment, and I, like I said, I probably should play Shovel of Hope and Spectre of Torment on the channel at some point. Just because I've played the DLC, and now I'm playing this, so we might as well just go ahead and get the whole Yacht Club suite completed on the channel. But, uh, I'll, I'll do it when I have time. Ah! Because, boy, do I certainly not have time right now with so many LPs going on at once. We're doing pretty well so far, except for that scary scrape we had that one time where we had, like, no HP. But I haven't died yet, which is nice. Eh, eh. Die. Thank you. Another save point. And at least we do have pretty generous checkpoints, it feels. Oh, God. Ah. Here's our boss fight. Ah. Okay, you die, please. Nope. Ah. Mm, okay. So it flashes when the middle part's about to come down. We gotta be careful of that. Oh god. Yep. Ow. Wasn't expecting that. Okay. Huh. Alright. Oh god, I'm facing the wrong direction. Okay. You're just gonna do the same thing again, right? I've already got a pretty good system for dodging this. There we go. That wasn't so bad. That's the first level down, right? Do our little dance. What was that? Okay, we refilled our HP. I'm sad that I only got one of those, like, seemingly collectible things. Did I really miss something? Like, two things? Hmm. What's the deal with you? Okay, we just got a bunch of money, I guess. And these are little platforms. Hi. Like, that wasn't something I'm missing, right? Aha! Was something that I'm missing. Hmm. How do I... I don't think I can open these, but the these this thing down here also had those three dots. So is that something I'm missing that I need to to access those? Weird. Okay. We'll ignore it for now. Hi? There we go. So I, I hit those before and that's what made them open. Hmm. Yeah, I'm curious about what I'm missing that I need to upgrade those things. I mean, to open those things. Upgrade those things. What am I talking about? Not upgrading shit. Uh, go away, weird space invader slash Galaga enemy. Ah, no, ah, okay, here we go. God, why is Yacht Club always just super fantastic with music? They're like the, they're like Toby Fox. They just can't do bad when it comes to music. Of course, I think this game has a different composer, maybe? Maybe. I'm just not super familiar with the Shovel Knight composer. So... This might be a different composer. It still sounds very on-brand for them, though. I want that. I don't know what this currency is used for yet, but I still want to grab it when I can. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's our score, or if we can actually buy things with it at some point. Yeah. Okay, let's just jump over here like this. Ow! Bang, bang, bang. Uh. No, quit it. Okay, I just need to get up here. Uh. Uh. Okay, we're good. Oh god, things are getting hairy. Uh. Uh. Okay, we're good. We're good. Alright. Bye. Ah, and there's our save point. And I also think that's a secret over here. Am I crazy? Uh, I might be crazy. Yeah, I don't think it's, it's not doing anything. All right, nothing. You look like you're a secret though. What is that? 
Uh, this is gonna be a little bit of a pain in the ass, because I see there's a dude that's gonna spawn down here as well, yeah. Oh god, multiple dudes. Uh, ow. Yeah, this is not gonna go well for me. This is probably gonna be our first death right here! Never mind. Maybe. I play it safe. You just gotta be careful here. Me taking the time to run all the way back here is quite dangerous, though. Maybe I don't need to jump all the way up there, though. Okay. Yeah, we just need to stop, like, right there. Come on. We got this. Yeah! Did it. I lamed it out and won. Oh, okay, that's another one of those. Oh, maybe that's a health upgrade. That might be what that is. I was sitting here thinking they were collectibles, but it restored my HP, so it might be a health upgrade. Like, once I get three of them, my health increases. That'd be neat. Oh, God. Or wait, did my health already increase? Did I have six before? I can't remember. <laughs> Here I am, not even able to remember how much health I had. Yeah, I can't- I can't tell. Logic would tell me that I need three of them to actually upgrade my health, kind of like heart pieces. Hello, I want this. Thank you. And in. Cool. Ah, ah, god. Die. Thank you. Jerk. Just come flying at me like that. Flying at me like you know me. Okay. Um... Hi. Ah, shit. Oh god, I missed the jump. Oh, platforms, like, platforms like this with, uh, projectiles flying around always screw me up. I'll also warn everybody, commentary is gonna take a pretty big damn hit in this because 2D, like, platformers like this just usually mess me up. Although, obviously, this isn't a precision platformer, so it's not gonna be as bad, I think. Um, but it'll still mess me up pretty damn badly. Hi? Do we have, like, a map or something? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's probably health, right? Up there. And this is probably, like... Those are heart pieces. The bottom one increases my SP, maybe? And then these are, like, sword upgrades? Possibly? Okay. Uh... Hi? Oh, man. He killed me before I could even see it. Dripping oil. Is this our rival character? Or is that the character we were actually trying to... ...save? I feel like that was our rival character. Thank you, friend. You don't look so good, Shadow. Your condition is worsening. I hope you'll stabilize soon. You can't afford- we can't afford to lose you now. Our master needs you to be at full strength. Have anything else? Honestly, we all need you to be at full strength. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, thank you. No pressure or anything. Just fate of the world in my hands, whatever. Shadow, as weak as ever. How did you even manage to survive? Well, it's no matter. Without your powers, you'll soon fade into the ethos. Or maybe all that awaits you is the eternal void. Took a cheap shot there. Apparate... Sator? Oh god! This music's so good! You're too high for me. Big damage. That was big damage. Okay, just dodge it. Oh god! Okay, just keep attacking him. There we go. Eat it, nerd. Who needs a pa- who needs powers against you? You were stupid easy. 
A win without honor. Hardly a victory. Dude, <laughs> you got your ass kicked. Come on, I didn't even do anything crazy. I just stood behind you and stabbed you a ton while you very slowly attacked me. I don't know what our master saw in you, but it couldn't have been a spine. Even the training of our clan... Even the training of our clan had enough guts to avoid backstabbing. Okay, well, you're right. I did backstab you. I did stab you in the back. This is true, but you left it so open. No honor in love and war, my man. Next time, I'll tear you to pieces and offer your essence to Dr. Progen and myself. Later, nerd. You better fly off. Yeah. I did it. Our clan has been captured. I'm too far gone, but there might be hope for the others. Maybe my power can help you, even if it's not much. Yay, new power! Feat complete, saving the clan. Get shuriken? Ooh, up plus attack. Ooh, okay. Okay, that's useful. I like that. And I imagine this... That does not restore our SP. Activate? Ah. Chapter 60%. So... I did 60% of the stuff in that chapter. And I'm 10% of the way through the game, really? Wow, okay, this is a pretty short game then. Hmm. Well, that was uh, an entire chapter complete, so we're only at 22 minutes, but I do think I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode off. No, no, we can do one more. We can do one more, I think. So... And yeah, we can like fast travel back to old places, I guess. Or should I go back here and see what I missed? Because it says uh, I got 60% of the stuff in that chapter. You know what? How about, how about we do that with our time? How about I just go and see what stuff I may have missed? So... Maybe now with Shuriken we can do different, more, like, more things? Let's see. So... Where is this, even? I don't actually know where this is. Like, what point in the level was this? I don't really know, but I, I feel like I hadn't been over there to the left before. So let's go up here. Maybe I have though, but I, I want to test it out. I certainly don't remember this. I don't think. I don't remember hitting this button to call the uh, elevators up and down. Oh god, that hurts me? Hmm. <clears throat> oh, okay, I see. And we do you. Okay. That gets us over here. No. Yeah, okay, it looks like there's more level here. Uh, die. Yeah, this is new because we have the shuriken, right? I'm trying to throw a shuriken. Uh, I missed. There we go, that's what I was trying to do. Okay, is this just a... Yeah, okay, that's an SP upgrade. Cool, okay, so that actually did <clears throat> raise my SP, so maybe I have been getting HP upgrades this whole time, and I don't need to get three. But maybe the SP just automatically gets upgraded whenever. Cat was messing with a box over here that he shouldn't be messing with, because he's a fool. Uh, thing. Alright, so that's one thing we missed. Let's go back to the teleporter now and see what it says about, uh, this. Okay, 80% clear. Alright, well, the rest is stuff we've seen before, right? Like, that was clearly new, and we got extra SP out of it. But, is everything else new? That I'm not sure about. But, uh, this I've already been through, so I think, um, I'm gonna cut this out, and when I, when I find something new, I'll, uh, see you then. Okay, so this is totally an upgrade for our sword, so 
I was right in thinking that. It makes our sword go slightly further. So, that's interesting. <clears throat> I still do wonder what we use this currency on. Because, I, I mean, I assume that's what it is. Ah, uh, I thought maybe that would be something if I rode the lift all the way up to the top, but no. I just got hurt for my trouble. Hmm, okay, so I'm, I'm willing to think whatever else is hidden in this level is behind this door, which I don't think I can open with shurikens, so... I think we should probably just go ahead and, uh, get out of here. So, can I exit the main menu? And then that just... puts me back... Ah, uh, that just puts me back here. Okay, so I do still have to go through the rest of the level, so... Yeah, I, I think the last bit of stuff is hidden in, like, that box, and probably through this door over here that I have to open by doing that. So, we'll just come back to it later. I just wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything super obvious. And I did get the uh, SP upgrade that was hidden. <laughs> Well, that would be my first death. I realized I wasn't talking. I should probably mention my first death. It was uh, off screen. <laughs> yeah, I got I got kind of low because I'm I'm trying to rush through this area and those enemies that fly at you are pretty nasty. And there's my second death. So quickly after my first death because I was too busy talking and walked off the edge. <laughs> Yeah, the, the room can get, the, the screen can get very uh, crowded, and your character isn't as fast as you would like sometimes. Uh, I have seen there's some sort of dash upgrade that we can get at some point. That will help speed things up a lot. Jesus. <laughs> I'm just dying like crazy at this part, and this is something I've already beaten. I'm just having to redo because I wanted to come back into the level and get stuff. I just did it flawlessly the first time, apparently. Oh my fuck. Holy fuck. <laughs> You can just get comboed by these things pretty damn easily. Alright, I've successfully made it out. Cool. So we're currently at Chapter 2, and I think we're going to go ahead and end this episode of Cyber Shadow off here. So I hope you have enjoyed, and I will see you next time. <laughs>